Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a short video here talking about TTL security and kind of an oddity that I found with a show command and the Cisco command documentation for the TTL security hops command. So I have this network here, it's really simple, it's just four routers all in a row. And first what we're going to do is just kind of go over how to turn on TTL security and, and just take a look at what it does. So by default, eBGP will send a open message with a TTL of one. So what the TTL security command is going to do is it's going to change that to send a TTL of 255 and then we tell our router how many hops away the neighbor is allowed to be by looking at the um, you know how many times that TTL is decremented. And I'll show you what I mean. So first I'm going to go into router BGP and I'm just going to configure, I have the commands pasted here so that you don't need to watch me type if I can, you know, ever copy and paste them. Um, so what we're going to do is configure a neighbor relationship to router 3. And we're going to use here the TTL security hops 2 command, which makes sense because router 3 is 2 hops away. So as you can see, the neighbor already came up. And what I want to do is do the show IP BGP neighbor and include BGP neighbor or TTL. And what you can see here is the neighbor may be up to two hops away, which makes sense because we configured TTL security hops too. But the weird part is you see that the minimum incoming TTL is 253, where the outgoing is 255. Now, if we look at the diagram, we can kind of confirm what the TTL should be. So from three, it's going to send the packet to two with 255. It'll decrement by one, send it over to router one with 254. Now we can confirm this because um, I already have Wireshark open. And let's take a look at the packets. First of all, here's a packet from one to three. And you can see that down here, I'm sending it with a TTL of 255. Then the packet from three to one, it's coming in with a TTL of 254. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe there's something different with, you know, what this command actually means. Minimum incoming TTL is 253. Maybe they just mean, you know, 253 plus one. So I went to the documentation to look at it. And now this is the documentation for the neighbor TTL security command. And I had this highlighted where because the hop count argument is sent to two, which is exactly what we have in our lab, the BGP will accept only packets with the TTL count in the header that is equal to or greater than 253. Keywords there equal to or greater than 253. That is not correct um, because I'm going to prove that it doesn't accept packets with a account, you know, a TTL that's equal to 253. And we're going to do that with R4. So R4, when it sends packets, again, it'll be 255, and then it'll be 254. And then the final one will be 253. So theoretically, according to the Cisco documentation, I should be able to set the hops to 2 and have a neighbor relationship. So on R4, I've already done that with the security hops 2 command. And on R1, we'll go ahead and um, I'll just copy and paste those commands in there for it. So comp T, router BGP1 insert there so TTL security hops two, and you can notice that the neighbor should have come up already um, when I did it with over here it was almost instantaneous so let's take a look at the Wireshark packet capture and the packets coming from four to one we can see the time to live is 253 and it's not working so let's prove, you know, I, we have to prove that it will come up if we set that to three. Security hops three. Let's go here. 
router BGP4. Security hops three. All right. And we can see the neighbor has come up when we set it to three. And now let's run that show command again. And now it says that the minimum incoming TTL is 254, where we just showed that that's not true. This, this should be minimum incoming is 253, and this should be minimum incoming TTL is 254. Um, maybe this is something to do with my version. So if I could do a show ver, I'm using um, iOS V version 15.6. So if someone has a newer version, let me know in the comments if, if this is different in your version. But this clearly looks like some incorrect documentation. Um, and just kind of, you know, goes to show don't always trust what you read in books. Don't always trust what you read in the documentation. Do the lab for yourself. See if things don't work out here. But what we did show is that the TTL security command, which is here, when it says security hops three, what they mean is 255 minus three plus one. So it's always gonna be whatever this number is, 255 minus three plus one, 255 minus two plus one, that's what they're gonna um, accept as a TTL value. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know your comments. Um, maybe, like I said, maybe your version it shows something different or you found documentation that um, agrees with what we're seeing in the equipment here. Um, but thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.